everybody welcome to the nightly needle today is super exciting because i have another mini unboxing for you today if you just watched my recent unboxing video i had ordered from hobby lobby and got a bunch of four weights this time it's going to be premier yarns and i got a bunch of three weights so i'm super excited to get into this box it just came in yesterday so without further ado let's get into it As you can see here, I have my big box ready to open. I've got my scissors ready, so I'm gonna break this bad boy open. Um, it's not a huge, huge haul. Like I said, it's kind of a mini haul. It doesn't have a whole lot of skeins in there, but it's all the same. It's all the same kind. All right, so we've got it open and ready to look in. I love that they bagged every single skein instead of just throwing it in the box. I hate when they do that because there's debris and dirt and everything that can get on it. So good job, Premier. Now it looks like they bagged everything in threes. They're not necessarily color coordinated, but it looks like they did try to, you know, make some colorways there. Um, so this is the Premier Basics DK. I have tried their just basic worsted weight and it was really good so I figured I'd give their DK a shot plus it's a little bit cheaper than the anti-pilling even though that's probably my favorite one from Premier Yarns. So now I'm gonna bust these open and we're gonna look at individual colors and I'll give you guys the specs on it since this is a yarn that I've never bought or went over before. So again this is a three light there's all the label information it's probably backwards for you sorry. <laughs> So it's 306 yards, it's three and a half ounces, and it's 100% acrylic. It says two skeins can make one scarf, and it says to use a four millimeter hook. And this color is Whisper Pink. Very pretty, very similar to that soft pink from Hobby Lobby. It feels pretty soft and squishy, um, which is good. I definitely am a texture person and if the yarn is not soft enough I will not use it. All right and the next color is tangerine. This is a really pretty bright orange and again the specs on this are exactly the same as the other so I'm not going to repeat that. All right the next color this one's kind of unraveled a bit but it's all right this one is rose just a really pretty violet color, red violet. Yeah, I know I got a lot of pinks and I think I got a lot of neutrals from what I remember. Here's lavender, very pretty. Just love how light and dainty that is. And then we got grape. Oh piece of fuzz on that one. Just a really pretty neutral purple. Then this one is light mauve. It's really pretty. And then we got some gray. This is fog gray really pretty it kind of reminds me of their anti-pilling cloudy day color just slightly darker and then this one is brown black i mean i think they probably could have come up with a little bit better name because yeah <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know about that all right, and then this one is Frost. It's a little more blue hued, very light, shade of gray, really pretty. One is Cream. Just your basic cream color, very pretty. Then we have Blush. A little more orange than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I still think that's really pretty. It's kind of a light peachy color. And then 
this one is mustard. So a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, but I still like it. I still think it's going to be pretty. And then burgundy. Just very basic burgundy, very pretty. And then just your standard run-of-the-mill black. And then we got thistle, which is really pretty. It's almost the same as the lavender on camera, but it's just slightly darker. And then this one's pumpkin. It's pretty. A little more red than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. It's the first time for using these, so. And then purple, which I really like this purple. Very classic. And then we got holly, which is kind of like a um, emerald kind of teal, dark teal color. Not quite green, it's pretty. And then charcoal. And then we got fern. Yeah, something I'm noticing that a lot of the colors have similar names to their anti-pilling yarn um, in the DK weight, but they're not quite the same. Like the colors are just slightly different. All right, we got two more bags. All right, this one's navy, just your classic navy blue. Then we got chambray, really pretty, just kind of grayish blue. And then we have denim. All right, last one. This one's mocha. It's definitely more purple hued brown. I like that though. And then we have linen. And then last but not least, we have tan. Kind of a straw color. And I don't have an invoice in the box to tell you how much. Um, but I will probably splice in the end of this video and let you guys know how much it costs and how many exactly I got in total. So my first initial thoughts are it's soft. It's not as soft as the anti-peeling, but it's still soft and usable and um, I would still wear it against my skin. I think it'd be very comfortable and it probably will soften up quite a bit when it washes. Now, what I do remember um, when I was buying these, I believe they are $2.99 a skein, and then you get the 306 yards, which is actually a pretty good price. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini haul and looking at some yarn with me today. If you have purchased Premier's, Basics, you know, anything, worsted weight, DK, chunky, what, whichever, uh, leave a comment below and tell us what you thought of it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, I'm really interested in trying the DK just because I really like their anti-peeling DK. If you're interested in trying some for yourself, you can go to Premier's website at premieryarns.com and I do have a referral code link down below that you can use. That'll get you 10% off your first order. And if you also sign up for a free account on there, they do allow you to accumulate points and you can use those points for coupons later on. This order in particular, I had enough points to get $6 off, which was really cool. <laughs> and um, they do offer free shipping. I believe it's on order 75 and over. 
I'm not 100% sure though, so you might want to double check me on that. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you did really enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help this channel grow. I hope to have a new tutorial out in the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be the Lacy Pumpkin Square. I've been super excited to work on this. I wanted something that was fall, but still kind of dainty. So that'll be something to look forward to in a couple of weeks. But thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.